As you heard, I've had this incredible privilege of serving as the leader of the Human Genome Project, this really remarkable and historical enterprise to read out all the letters of our own DNA instruction book. When this was announced in 1990, uh, there was a good deal of skepticism about whether this could actually be accomplished in the 15-year timetable that was projected and for the cost that was estimated, about $3 billion. Uh, happily, because of the efforts of uh, thousands of scientists uh, who decided to make this their most major uh, career effort, uh, the Genome Project not only succeeded, but did so two and a half years ahead of schedule and about $400 million under budget. So that was completed in April of 2003. We now have all of those three billion letters of our own human DNA code, and that is a remarkable uh, amount of information. You have all that information inside each cell of your body, just this amazing storehouse that evolution has provided uh, down through those hundreds of millions of years, over which time Darwin's method of uh, natural selection upon random mutation has resulted in an enormously complex organism ourselves. To now see that emerge and to have the chance to apply it for medical benefit is perhaps the most exciting uh, scene that science has had in front of them for some time. And all of us who now have the chance to work at this moment in history on applying that information to discovering the causes and ultimately the cures of diabetes, heart disease, cancer, schizophrenia, asthma, hypertension, and I could go on and on, are enormously energized uh, by the time we find ourselves in.